Welcome back to the lecture series on heat transfer operation. This is Yogesh Ranghe. In this video, we learn the physical mechanism in convection and the convective heat transfer coefficient. So, the physical mechanism of convection. As in the last lecture, I told the convection is a very complex process and in this one there are the number of parameters are affecting the convective heat transfer rate. So what are that parameters? So we learn that parameters on which it is the convection uh, heat transfer is affect. So the first of the pa first parameter is the fluid properties. Fluid property is very important. So convection heat transfer depends on the fluid property. Now what are the properties? Basically, we take the four properties of it. The first one, the dynamic viscosity, the thermal conductivity, density, and the specific heat. Now here, dynamic viscosity is what? It is the viscosity of the fluid. When we talk about the convection one, okay, the mode of heat transfer is by convection. In this case, the dynamic viscosity, the, it is the viscosity of the fluid. Then the thermal conductivity is here, the conductivity of the fluid. As in the conduction, we know that the, the rate of heat transfer, it depends on the, the conductivity of the body, conductivity of the material. Here also, it is depend on the conductivity of the fluid. So here we are taking the thermal conductivity of the fluid. Density of the fluid, that is also affect the heat transfer rate and the specific heat. What is the holding capacity of the fluid? So specific heat. So all these four parameters which are affecting the convection, convective heat transfer rate. So these are the properties. So always we write the dimensionless number with the, this, uh, the properties. One case when we are dealing with the parental number. On the parental number we have the, the viscosity term, we have the a specific heat and we have the thermal conductivities okay the another thing on which the convection is depend are the fluid velocity now the convection is not we call the there is a, a zero motion of the fluid we always deal with how certain motion okay if it is the, there is a no motion of the fluid in that case, we say that the heat is takes place by the conduction, not by the convection one. But obviously, when we are heating uh, the fluid, then definitely there is a molecules are randomly move from here and there. Okay. So here, look at what is the fluid velocity and that fluid velocity is affecting the heat transfer rate. There is a one term in the convective heat transfer coefficient that we definitely we will learn uh, in the next uh, lectures it is the Reynolds number so the Reynolds number when we calculate and we see what is the pattern of the flow in that case the velocity is very important okay as we increase the velocity ultimately the heat transfer rate increase how the molecules are randomly move from the uh, surface and it can be easily give the heat okay then it is on the geometry and the roughness of the solid surface. It is depend on the geometry. What is the geometry? This is important part. And the what is a solid roughness of the solid surface? This roughness is again important. Uh, it may be the change the pattern of the flow. It may be the laminar. It may be the turbulent. And the geometry. What type of the geometry it is? And on that basis, the heat transfer rate is depend. The types of fluid flow as I said whether the flow is the turbulent or it is a laminar one. So if the flow is laminar then the heat transfer rate is different. If the flow, uh, the flow is the turbulent then the, uh, the heat transfer rate may be the different. So the one condition it is the fluid properties, the geometry and the velocity and what is the types of fluid flow whether it is a laminar flow or it is a turbulent flow it is affecting the heat transfer rate
Now, see the rate of heat transfer by the fluid is always higher in a convection than it's by the conduction. So if you comparing the conduction and the convection, then you will find the more rate of heat transfer is by the convection than the conduction. Why this is the happening in convection one? See, well, I give the one example of it. Let's consider a heat transfer through the fluid uh, that is placed in between the two parallel plates with a different temperature. Now consider the one plate, okay, which is the hot one at the one side and the another plate. Both are, are parallel and in between we are placing a liquid, a fluid at a steady state. There is no motion of the fluid, okay. Uh, the upper plate is the hot plate and the lower plate is the cold plate and the fluid that we are placed in between the plate. Now how the heat transfer takes place from this hot plate to the fluid and then it reached to the cold plate because we know that the always the heat is transferred from hot fluid to the cold fluid or hot uh, point to the cold point. So here the hot plate is at upper side and cold plate as the bottom side and in between there is a fluid that we place. Now the heat is transferred from the surface to this fluid and then it reached to the cold plate. Now what happened in a conduction case? In the conduction case it is happening that we know that as per the definition of the conduction it is the rate of heat transfer takes place adjacent layer and this adjacent layer is absorb the heat and then it gives to the next layer. So in this case what happened in the conduction if it is a, the heat is transferred by the conduction then the hot surface give the heat the first layer which is nearer to the surface then this layer give the heat to the next uh, adjacent layer this layer next and next and then it reach to the cold fluid. Now this is the case when the fluid is at steady state there is no motion of the fluid okay and the heat is transferred from hot plate to the cold plate. But if you see then it's uh, required the more time because the layer by layer it is transferring the heat. Instead of this if the fluid is in motion, if the fluid is in motion then what happen? The molecules which is contact the surface at this point may be gain the heat and then it may be the mix somewhere here. It give the adjacent molecules and then it may be there to the cold fluid plate. Or if I place the, this layer which is the, the layer nearer to the hot plate, if I take all the liquid or the, this layer from here and directly I put it here. Means if I collect the water from this layer from this side and then I pour it into the nearer to the cold plate. Then what happened? There is a more heat transfer rate or there is increase the heat transfer rate just because of the random motion of the molecules or we can directly take this layer to here and the same thing is happening in the convection. In convection what happened? The molecules which is nearer to the hot plate it may be within a 2 second, 3 second whatever be the time it may be the reach to here it may somewhere here so it is continuously the molecules are in motion and they are detached from the hot surface and reach to the cold molecules and reach to the cold surface. So that's why the heat transfer rate is more always more in the convection rather than the a conduction. Thank you very much for watching this video.